right over there. I'm so sorry. They're on the floor. Sorry about that. I apologize.
This has given you a well-rounded education. It has also made you have grown as people in the well-rounded adults. Celebrate your graduation day. These celebrations are a fitting end to your school days. They also give us a lift here at school as we see how much graduation means to you. I also want to thank the dedicated staff at Green County High School. They do not seek any praise, but their skill and dedication to the task of educating these students is enormous. The future holds many challenges and successes for all of you. Each of you will have your own unique opportunities to continue to grow. I am confident that you will rise to every occasion. Let me wish you all the best in the future. Thank you. Thank you. 
Look at the light right there. Was no Google to look up and ask questions to. My decisions 
decisions will determine the success and the life or death of soldiers. I will never forget sitting in a bunker during a rocket attack with Paul. He looked at me and said, what have you got to get into? The feeling of responsibility was almost overwhelming. At that point, I had one of two options, stand and fight, or let my soldiers down. Each and every one of them counting on my leadership to win the fight. In the not so distant future, each of you will find yourself at a different crossroads of life. And you will have to make critical decisions that will set up, that will set you on a path either for success or ultimate failure. And only you can make those decisions. Well, I like to win. And I'm sure you do too. Freedom is not free. It comes with a price. On October 31st, 2008, Sergeant Daniel Wallace of Brown Ridge, Kentucky, was killed during an ambush in Longdale, Afghanistan. Oh, I'm going to look at it. I'll get me enough. And it's a significant little spot in the middle of the Afghan countryside. I will never forget what I was doing and the intricate detail of my surroundings, the smells, the temperatures, everything. And in the days following the ambush, I walked into the back of the C-17, approximately the rear of the size of this Gen 4 to a single flag drink coffee to pay my last respects. These events will forever be forged in my memory. Again, I had a choice to stand up and fight or let my soldiers down. It was tough, but through adversity, we became better. We adapted and learned from Daniel's loss. We seized the initiative, responded with audacity, and ultimate mission success. Life is going to throw you some curveballs. And at times you may feel like you can't move on. But you must be resilient. Stand up, brush yourself off, and continue to fight. The will and moral courage of free men and women has made this country great. And now you are charged with the same. Freedom is not free. Success in life is a balancing act. Much like a free life of school, we have to maintain the balance without it in the future we get struggle. I see many of you have heard my loving spirit. They are the legs of the school. Continue to develop your mind. Life is a learning experience and embrace it. When you learn, what you learn and how you apply it will give you the means to make your life what it is. Take care of your body. Because one day the health of you and your loved ones will be critical to your quality of life. And spirit, enjoy those around you. Take the time to invest in others. You will reap huge rewards. Self is a lonely place. Giving is always better than receiving. Did you all know that each one of you were born with a 55 gallon drum of pain? You were. Everyone was born, everyone was born with a 55 gallon drum of paint. And you can select when you drink that paint. So as you leave here tonight, think about it. Am I going to drink the paint up front so that I don't have to drink it later in life? Or am I going to forego drinking the paint so that I can spend my latter years drinking that paint? Think about it. Drum of pain is a good lesson 
But if you're going to college, straight to school, or pursuing a career out of high school, how you choose to attack it will determine your life's experiences over time. I'd like to thank all of you for asking me to speak tonight, and it's been a great honor. You can do what you want to with this. It's your first freedom, one of choice. I will leave with this quote from Private Martin Trepto, a War I soldier who left his job in a small town barber shop to serve on the front lines in France for the 42nd Infantry Division in 1970. After Private Trepto was killed, his diary was found where the following pledge was inscribed. America must win this war. Therefore, I will work, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure, I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost, as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. Again, class, congratulations on this benchmark in your life. The fight is now yours. Go forth, find your freedom. And never forget, it's not free. Thank you.
Skeens.
much pain whenever they throw their hats.
16 is right. 